Grab the flints, grab the rocks. Okay, so bamboo goes in here, secondary resources go there, primary resources go in here. Wait, bamboo is here. Okay, whatever. It'll work out eventually. Uh, primary resources go here. I don't know why that's there. Logs go in here. Oh, I'm starting to get a little wet, huh? Scary stuff goes here. Rocks and secondary rocks go in here. I don't know why this is there. It's a lot of ice around. I need to pick those up and put them inside the freezer. Before they blow away like this. And then I need to burn down these trees if possible. I'll probably chop down some of them and then burn down the rest. So I don't want to burn down my base as well. That'd be quite unfortunate. And I would probably lose. It's a good idea to have a lot of extras of this around. Probably going to kill some monkeys as well. Monkeys will give me resources to use for food. They'll also give me poop. If I didn't have the lightning rod, I would have lost the base. Look at that. Look at that crazy lightning. It's so stupid. Alright, I think I need a lightning rod down here, don't I? So there's one there, I'm gonna put it here, by the tree. If anything, I could just move it later, but for now, that's good. It's one... Oh, what the? I need more? Oh, crap. Two and three. Even though one of them had 9%, I'm just going to use it up. I don't care too much. Oh no! My tree! Um, cutlass, 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 cutlass. Oh, I need twigs. Okay, so golden axe. And then cutlass. Then refine this into ice so I have it as an option. And I think I'm good to go. Put the extra combat stuff there for now. Um, where's my bamboo? I believe it's doodads that I need. Oh, this is a really cozy base. I don't like it. It's too cozy. It might be the trees. It's two doodads. I'll make one of these as well. Off. I'll make that when I actually have to, like when I need food. I mean, not food. I need food right now. When I need sanity. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh-oh. This is why snakes suck, because you don't get that much monster meat from them. I think I need to drop the spider as well, and the spider will have to be protected by a... Lightning rod, about here. So there's one there, it's going to reach to about this point. I need one there. 
It's by the bushes. And, uh... What else is there here? Here to here, and then here to there. So right about here. And that'll protect me from... Or protect the snakes and... The spiders from dying to lightning. Need to put a lantern in here as well, a bugged lantern, just so it's more convenient. What else do I need to do? I need to get rid of this rock, too. <laughs> it's just sitting there. I need that, that, that. Gotta plant these as well. I'm just gonna put them very close by for now. Eventually, they're all gonna move. and They're gonna actually look pretty, but right now, I don't care too much. I also can't even use them right now, huh? It's because they need to be fertilized. Unlike saplings, they actually need to be fertilized. Wow, that's a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, good. That's good, that's good. And now we play the waiting game. The uh, turtle game, basically, where you just turtle at your base until you get attacked. So this stuff needs to go, this stuff goes, this goes down here. Uh, this stuff is okay here, secondary resource, twigs, I have twigs. This goes there. Uh, eye shot I'm going to use eventually. The rain's over, right? Oh, shell. Okay, shell into this stuff is what I need to do, I guess. There's one, two, there's the third one there, and then I'll put this back. Fertilize the ones closest to my base first, the center of my base first. Alright, so I'm going to spend the entire day, I think, just wandering around and killing stuff, killing trees. Mostly trees. And I guess this rock too. Actually, I need to put two of these back, so I have exact inventory, and I need to drop one of these down. It's messy, but this is what happens in the start of the game. You don't really care too much about it. You'll see eventually I'm going to go like super OCD with this base, which is what I always do with my bases. Uh, that's, that's not going to be in this year, though, of, of gameplay. That'll be in the future. And I'll update you guys on what I do, what Wigfrid does. Oh, that was exactly 10. Wow. That actually works out. Huh? Oh, it's there. Oh, there's the hound wave. Oh, it actually arrived one day later than I expected. Oops. Okay, let's drop the spiders over here, closer to the side.
Oh, that timing, though. No! That was my monster meat! Damn, I, I actually lost the monster meat. It's the second hound wave, so you don't have to worry too much about hounds overwhelming you. That doesn't happen until like the third to fifth hound wave, at least. Uh, when you hear them more frequently, it means they're coming. Oh, there's one, so I'm going to run to it. Dodge, one, two, three. Ice hound, dodge, one, two. Then dodge, one, two, three. Dodge, one, two, three. And that thing ate my monster meat. It's better to run towards the hounds rather than away from them. If you run away from them, it actually makes it more difficult to kite. Because then the others will catch up to you, right? And then if that happens, you're going to have more hounds to deal with instead of just a couple. Alright, let's dump all this stuff away. I have way too many items on me, like the hammer and pitchfork. I don't need those. I don't need the eye shot either. Hounds and spiders are a really good source of meat, unlike uh, snakes. So that's why I have so many now. Okay, armored boat is ready as well. Let's do that. Pre-build the armored boat. Actually, I'm gonna keep the hammer on me because I want to hammer down the resources uh, in the raft down below. I'll dump these here for now. I'll put them here, I guess. Uh, eye shot, I don't need. This, I don't need. I'll put it there for now because it's kind of scary. A little scary box. This stuff is almost ready for me to harvest. I'm gonna harvest a lot of them and then I'm gonna burn the rest of it once it's safe. Safe enough to do so. I should pick mushrooms too. Mushrooms are good filler. Level 1 spiders, spider nests, uh, spider dens don't actually produce spider warriors, so it's safe to attack them from this distance, but normally, well not normally, but if you have a tier 2 or above, you don't want to do that, because it's way too dangerous. And the full moon should be tomorrow, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it should be tomorrow. Eh, viney bush, whatever. No one likes vines anyway, and if you do, you're wrong. You are incorrect about their viability. Alright, let's see. Put this away, put this away, put this away. What else do I need? I gotta hammer that, th that thing down, down south. I need to chop down trees. I need to get rid of this rock. I'll do that now. And let's kill some of the monkeys, actually. I'm going to use the spear. It's easier to use the spear. It's cheaper to use that spear, actually. Not easier. I'm actually running out of gold, too. Oh, speaking of... Speaking of gold, do I have another one of these? No. So this one should cover the monkey huts. Then I'm going to have bee boxes... Was it here? Near the snakes, I think I said? Bee box is here, and then tree farm up here or here, probably here. 
Not sure yet. Uh, and this will be regular farms, coffee beans, and this will be, I don't know, whatever it's going to be. It'll work out eventually. Oh, do I not have any nitre at all? Hmm. Okay, let's make another one of these. the grass away, put the axe back because it keeps bugging up, I don't know why. Buggy game is still buggy. I'm not gonna stack the egg with the other eggs, I want this one to spoil. Or do I? I guess they turn into items that I can never actually use properly. So it becomes a waste of an inventory slot. Oh well. For now, it's okay. And the storm should begin very soon. In the next day or two? The next storm? Um, let's see. I guess I could chop stuff down now. I want to get rid of the top ones first. I want to keep this one because it's my little baby tree. 